probably one of the best shots of juice I think I've ever taken in my entire life. I'm over in a place called Saddle River Cafe. It's in New Jersey. One of my good, good friends and ex-boss owns the place. His name is Jamie Knott. The guy is killing it here in northern New Jersey. Now, this particular juice that I just slammed down, it's a combination of pineapple juice, cucumber, mango, and lime. The thing is ridiculous because you don't really taste anything as an individual piece. It's just kind of like these like subtle waves. Now, pineapple's on the forefront. It hits you with a little bit of lime next. Then it starts to evolve into the cucumber. It finishes off with a mango. The thing's incredible. The thing's incredible. This is a little juice uh, sampling right here in front of me. So this one over here, this is the orange carrot crush. That's a coconut, turmeric, ginger. I mean, look at the color of that. Killer. Next in line, we got the unbeatable. So that's golden beets, green grapes, Asian pear. Sounds ridiculous. Last one in line, super healthy, super green. Kale, apple, cucumber, celery, lemon. I mean, I just feel like a better person just by being here. But when it comes to breakfast time, I usually want something to do with eggs. Whether it's eggs benedict, an omelet, I'm always game. So here, they do the omelets a little bit different. It almost looks kind of like a frittata setup. Uh, what I love about it, high quality ingredients across the board. So you have lobster, you have an herb cream cheese, you have asparagus, fingerling potatoes. Let's jump on in, see what this thing's about. Ooh, look at that. Creamy tastiness there. Ooh. That herb cream cheese sets this thing off. The eggs are super light and airy. That little bite from the asparagus kind of peeks through, and I mean, lobster in every bite. Yeah, that's the breakfast for me. That's as good again. The lobster has such a delicate sweetness to it too. See how it just cuts open? It's like perfect size. Oh, that lobster though. You know, anything can go wrong in my day and I'd be happy because of this omelet. Maybe. Here's the living. All right, baby, gotta love brunch. Mimosas, yup. Delicious food, check. Ice bucket, why not? So, pretty much every good breakfast place has a version of Eggs Benedict. Now, you gotta throw a little bit of spin on it, you gotta change it up a little bit, so where Chef does it a little bit different, he adds Parmesan into the biscuit at the base. So the Parmesan, nice little umami characteristic. You got these beautifully poached eggs, you got the additional Parmesan cheese to go with the same element and tie everything in. These perfectly cut chives and rosemary ham. Can't be regular ham, let's go rosemary on this one. Where he really throws the curveball though is instead of a Bernays sauce, he's using this Choron sauce. Now Choron, it's kind of a play off of Bernays, they just add tomato paste. So usually you have like a clarified butter, egg yolks, tarragon, sherbet, vinegar, now tomato paste in the mix as well. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, oh, oh my gosh, I can't even mess with that. Very few things turn me off, turn me on more than that. So, let's give it a shot. Very interesting, because that Parmesan bomb coming out of that biscuit, it's one of the main things that you taste. And that's really interesting, because usually, like, the biscuit gets washed away in the flavors of what's going on on top of it. Not the case here at all. That Choron sauce, over the top, killer. The, the tomato really adds, like, a little subtle sweetness to it, and a little bit of acidity that kind of helps bind everything together beautifully. That ham sticks through, that rosemary, a little bit more of that herbaceous tone. He's perfectly poached eggs. Yeah, that's another hit. It's super rich in its own right. So to kind of balance that out, you have a little herb salad on the side. Beautiful greens. Mm. Mm. The cuts right through it. Yep, here's another must try. 
you know Jamie Knight, you know he knows Asian cuisine. No doubt about that. Now, Thai noodles are one of his old school staples. A uh, couple different restaurants that he has. He has different iterations of each. Now, this one is something that I haven't seen. It has a little bit of like a tropical flair to it. So you have lo mein noodles, you have pineapple, you have mango, you have carrot. You got that spicy sauce to bind it all together. Peanut, sesame. And you want a little bit of citrus? You hit it with a lime. Ooh. A little bit of cabbage in the mix, piping hot. I could eat like a, a jar of peanut butter a day as a side note. Just saying, so anything peanut, I'm usually a big fan of. Oh man, hits it right on the head again. It's that sweet and spicy element that's absolutely perfect on this. And the pineapple seems to almost be like roasted, so like those sugars are literally just bursting out of it. And you're almost getting pushed to the limit of like discomfort on the heat. And then the sweetness comes in, washes it all away, mellows it out, makes it a beautiful experience. You get the, you get the crunchiness coming from these peanut bits. And just layers on top, a little bit more Asian flair coming with those like sesame seeds. And these low main noodles, you know they're always cooked right. Oh, look at that. Huh. Killing it. Now, the crab cake, it's interesting because it's crusted with just a little bit of cornflakes. Cornflakes, you got remoulade sauce on top, and if you break into it, literally all crab. Look at it. Some people might complain that it falls apart. Why? Because there's too much crab in there, barely being held together. So you got a buttermilk slaw here on the side, but this is what I'm looking for. If you don't know about Chef Jamie Knott, keep an eye out for him, because Northern New Jersey, the guy is shutting the place down. Literally, year after year, a new restaurant after a new restaurant, it's just taking over everything. All right, so with brunch spots, it's interesting, because it's that medley of breakfast and lunch. So, my question of the week revolves more around the breakfast end of the spectrum. So, omelet-wise, what's your favorite omelet? Where have you had it? Give me a little info on that. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, you give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Every Sunday, something awesome. Cheers to you. Maybe I'll see you again next week. Nah, I'll see you again. And as always, my people, you keep watching, because I'm going to keep hunting. And I'm going to see you soon, all right?